Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are just joining me now then I would love it if you'd stick around and hit the subscribe button. Today's video I'm going to be doing a H&M haul and I would love it if you would let me know down in the comments below what sort of videos that you would like to see from me. If you don't want to leave a comment on this channel or anything like that then just check me out on Instagram. I'll leave it up on the screen somewhere now and just comment on like my latest post or something of what you would like to see from me because that would really help me out and I'll know then what you'd like to see. So if you'd like to see haul which I do normally but I do do a lot of them and obviously I don't keep everything because I'm not made of money so I normally I'm quite brutal with myself even if I do love absolutely everything I am really brutal with myself and I'm like I can only keep one or two pieces so it's it's a shame because sometimes I'm like I mean I do love a lot of things and I'm obsessed with a lot of things so to try and pick one or two pieces from the bunch is quite difficult but yeah, as soon as I do a lot of hauls, I can't keep everything. So yeah, if you'd like to see any other videos, if you'd like to see food videos, baking video, well baking videos is a food video, makeup videos, hair videos, just let me know. It would be so, so great. So yeah, I'm going to get straight on into the video and I'm going to start off with these two pieces. This is so cute and so slouchy. It's super stretchy, nice, big, oversized, woolly what do you call this, um, a vest or something, with nice little slits at the side, nice and long, hits over the bum, I think this would be good with like a little pair of white shorts or something, but I've just got it on with these jeans that I also got from H&M, and they come up nice and high, and they've got a really nice elastic waistband, which I really appreciate, because I am the type of person that if the jeans don't have any stretch, I need an elastic waistband, I just can't handle my jeans feeling too tight on my body and like when you're trying to sit down and everything's just too tight in your belly yeah I'm not about that so these are really comfortable like they are so so nice I would like them to be a little bit longer that is my issue I would love these to be a little bit longer it's hard to show you because obviously where I've got you is hard but when I lift my leg up you can see there is quite a bit of shin and ankle I would like them to be just below the rim of my trainers just so that when you sit down and things they're not going to ride up too much so if you are shorter than me i am five foot five and a half then these would be absolutely perfect for you or if you're the type of person who likes when your jeans just hit the rim of your trainers then that would also be really good for you but for me personally i just find them a little bit too short they're sort of that in between size for me where I either want them to be cropped like they're supposed to be or I want them to be long. I don't like that in between stage where it's like you just look a bit like your pants are too short for you if you know what I mean. So yeah that's the only issue I have but this waistband is so so good and the pockets nice and deep and also they have bucket, pockets, <laughs> pockets on the back nice and elastic and yeah that's just they are really comfy and really nice. But that is my issue with the length. And you'll see there's a bit of a running theme in this haul that I have got a lot of things that are sort of either white or beige or like neutral colours. I think there's only two pieces in this haul. No, three pieces in this haul that probably aren't neutral colours. But it's just H&M have so many, like a really nice range of neutral colours. And I just I really like it. I just think it's so good. Like I, I'm just so drawn to neutral colours. So I'm going to show you the next piece. I have got it on underneath because I just thought it was easy to show you that way. It's just this vest. It came in a pack of three. I might show you the other ones with other out like with other bottoms and things. But I'll just hold them up now. So it comes in a pack of three. I've got this one on, which I would class as like a mushroomy beige colour. This one is kind of peachy, creamy kind of colour, and then you've got a dark sort of chocolatey brown. I think my two favourites are these two. I'm not so keen on this just because I'm quite pale, and even though I'm not this shade, I just feel a bit, I don't know, I just feel like it's that kind of colour that you would wear underneath something, you know, like if you have a dress and it's a bit see-through and they give you like a slip dress to go underneath, I feel like it's this colour, if you know what I mean. So I might show these with some of the other trousers, but for now I'm going to move on to the next So as you can see, again, neutral colours. This one's kind of similar to the last piece, but obviously this isn't like knitted, this is just a t-shirt, but I just think it's really nice. I love this sort of boxy fit that's going on and I've just tucked it into these shorts. Now these, these are a bit creased, 
but I'm loving this paper bag effect at the top and it's got nice pockets on it and it, they're just super flowy and I feel like these would be just so nice in summer when you just need something to chuck on and not be super hot. The only issue is, oh, I feel like they they are a little bit of that material where, you know, it's a little bit itchy. So if you have sensitive skin, I would say probably stay away from these. It's not too bad on my legs, but when I'm touching down below like this with my arms, I can feel a bit itchy on my arms. So yeah, that is a little bit irritating, but I just think it's so cute. Like having two pieces like tucked in like this and it just looks really nice with the shoulders sort of sticking out a bit. I think it just gives it a bit more of a smart look and yeah I just think it's really nice and I do really love neutral colours. I think they're good for spring, summer, any time of year to be honest. I think you can pull it off all year round, any neutral colours. So this is what it looks like when I pull it out and how long it is. It's sort of just a really boxy sort of top. I prefer it tucked in personally, but I do still think it looks nice when it's untucked. I just think maybe not with these shorts, it needs something else. I'm not really sure what else I would pair it with. I'd have to plan it. I do plan my outfits. I can't just, I'm not that type of person. It's like I can see something and go, they look good together. Sometimes I won't diss myself too much. Sometimes I can be like, they go well together. But a lot of the times, like, you need to plan it and see what they look like together. And this, for me personally, I'm not keen on when it's, like, out like this. But if it's tucked in, I do think it looks loads better just because then it shows off your waist a bit more. I think you could probably give this a tie as well if you wanted it to be that kind of look where you have this bit knotted. Just so that it gives you some shape as well so you're not just, like, straight up and down. Next, I've got on this really nice charcoal grey bodycon dress. And it's nice and racer-backed at the back really slimming why do i always wear underwear with a bow you can just see it i'm such an idiot every single time i seem to do a haul i've got un i've got underwear on that's got a bow sorry about that but yeah it's really nice quality as well i can't see through this so that's really good it's not too see-through it's not too short either it's not gonna i don't feel like it's gonna be one of those dresses that ride up because we all hate that you know when you're walking down the street and your dress starts to ride do not want that so yeah this looks really nice and it's thin so it's not going to be super sweaty but at the same time it's an, it's enough coverage that you're not going to see anything and because obviously it's a dark material that's also a good one that it's not going to show anything through and I just like that it's not it's 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 compressive enough that it's not showing my nipples through this which I do really appreciate so yeah this is a really really nice piece and it's just it's such a flattering shape around the front. I feel like this part here, it's not digging in, it's not creating any bulging, and it's just a really nice high-necked dress. I love shapes like this. If it's too far over, I'm not too keen. I don't think it looks good on my body. Or if it's if it's really far over as well, I do like that. I think I prefer dresses that are either far over to the side or just sort of like this. I don't like them when they are too far close together. So this is a really nice shape for me around the front. And I just think it's a really nice dress for this time of year. So the next item is these trousers. Now I've just chucked it on with a top that I already own. Because it didn't really go with the vest I was going to put it on with. Just because... These vests obviously are a little bit longer, so when I put it on, because these trousers are a bit see-through, you could see the top through them. So I've just bobbed it on with a t-shirt, that not a t-shirt, a top that I already own. And yeah, they are a little bit see-through, you can't tell because I'm wearing a thong, but I do think that either wear a thong or nude underwear if you are to get these. They're a nice toweling material, so they just feel super comfy, loose-fitted, and they also have a slit going up the side of the leg, which I think is really nice. So yeah, these are really nice and breezy and these are for the days where if you don't want to wear shorts or you don't want to wear jeans, you just want something for if, it, if the weather's not super hot and you just need something on that's light and breezy though as well. And yeah, I just think these are a really nice piece just to chuck on with any nice light t-shirt or you could even wear these with a brown top, I think it'd look really good. So yeah. Okay, so these are my two colourful pieces. I mean, now I love a bit of green gotta have a bit of green and I think this is really nice it says I love that H&M has this thing where they use a lot of recycled cotton 
So this is 20, uh, no not 20%, 25% recycled cotton. I do really like that, that they're using recycled cotton. I think that's really good. And these shorts, I got them in a size 10. Now, I am a size 8 normally, but I want, I'm on the hunt for the best pair of sort of mum shorts slash baggy shorts. And... I don't know, these aren't really them. These aren't the best ones that I think I can find. I just want a pair that I'm constantly reaching for and I feel amazing in. And these are nice and they are loose on the leg, but I do just feel a bit, I don't know, they just, I know that I should have gone, I know that I should have got my size, but then they wouldn't have been so loose, if you know what I mean. So, still on the hunt, unfortunately. But I do still think they are a nice short. I like that they've got the frayed detail at the bottom. I just wish that they did fit me a bit better on the bum but yeah I mean that is my own fault I should have gone for my own size but because they've got no stretch in them that I just think they would be a bit too tight around the tummy if you sit down and things so yeah that's a bit unfortunate but I just I really love this sort of shade of denim I think it's really nice I do like light denim but I just there's something about this shade that I'm always drawn to when I'm looking for jeans or shorts I just think it's really nice and this is sort of, what would you call this green? Like a mint green? Something like that, yeah, a bit minty, minty green. And again, it's got that really nice, what do you call this? I've forgotten the name. Racer, racer neck? Is this the racer neck? Because it's racer back, so would you call this front, racer, front? Anyway, you know what I mean. It's got that really nice front that the dress did. So, yeah, really nice, racer back, nice quality. I do think this top is a little bit more nipply I do think when I'm looking at myself I can see my nipples a little bit but you hopefully can't on camera so yeah let me know what you guys think of these pieces let me know down in the comments or like I said over on my Instagram let me know which is your favourite pieces of this haul okay so this next piece I am absolutely gutted about because it's got that same sort of length that the white jeans had where it's not cropped and it's not long enough it's just sort of just slightly a bit short and it's bugging me it's just so annoying but like how nice is this like I love the height of the neckline I love the back it's just simple but low I probably wouldn't wear a bra with this I've just got it on for the next piece and it's so slimming and oh, it's just so annoying I love this colour as well I could keep these and you know get them hemmed around the bottom and just like lifted up so that they are cropped but I would have preferred them to be full length to the floor and then I just think I would wear some nice white sliders with them I think that would have been so so nice what a shame oh it's so gorgeous like look at this colour I'm obsessed with this colour so nice I love beige I think beige and obviously green is like my favourite colours I am Oh, no, no. I love all colours. I don't know if I can say that, but I just, I am, I feel like I'm more drawn to greens and beige and things like that. So, yeah, it's very, very annoying. But you girls who are shorter than me, if you love this, go get it because it's really, really nice. There's nothing else wrong with it. It's just the length. So, if you're shorter than five foot five and a half, you're good to go. Then I would su suggest you definitely get this. Did I pick up on the petite section or something? I'm not sure. Or does H&M just run a little bit short? Maybe that's probably the thing because I do not think I got it in the petite section. If I did, then I'll put it on the screen that I got it in the petite section, but I really don't think I did. I think this is just the regular sizing. But I do think maybe it runs a little bit short. So that's a good thing to know if you're taller than me or you're shorter than me that some of the pieces may run a little bit short. So if you are shorter, then that's great. Shop at H&M. They've got some good stuff as you can see. So this is the last item and we are ending on a win. This is gorgeous. The other thing is I would size down. I do think I might send this back and get a size lower just because I think that the sleeves could be, they'd be nicer, just a bit tighter. So I love this part, like how nice it just hits over your hands like that and it's got a little slit. Stunning. And also on the leg, it has a nice slit. It hits me just sort of how, what would I say, mid-calf, if I can stand back and show, like that, so yeah, it's, it's a gorgeous length, I think this with a pair of trainers or slides, good to go, it's super easy, I would wear this 
to like a beer garden or something say if when all things open up you know if you're going out for a meal at the end of like a summer's day and you just want something when it cools down a bit in the evening and you just want something to chuck on and it's dead comfy and you're not gonna get like really tight around your stomach if you're feeling a bit bloated in the evening this is just a lovely chuck on comfy dress and it's nice and this really soft wool knit material so you wouldn't need to put a jacket on over this it would just be as you are like this but like I said I think I'm going to size down because this is a size small and I think I could get away with an extra small just so it's a little bit more fitted but I mean this is just gorgeous absolutely love I'm so glad I ended on this one this is such a good one so that's everything I have for you today guys if you did enjoy this video then please give it a big thumbs up also I'm thinking of doing a cruelty free makeup review and if that is something that you'd like to see then either let me know like I said before over on my Instagram on my latest post or let me know in the comments down below of this video and thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye